experience. Train by day, Joe Rogan podcast by night, all day. And we're up. Hello, Chrissy. Hello. Good to see you, brother. Nice to see you. I like the shades. I know. I feel like Jeffrey Dahmer. Are those uh, Anthony Aiden's? Anthony Aiden. Yeah. Dude, Anthony Aiden, St. Mark's, Lower East Side. Yeah. I wanted to... I have a. Um, I wanted to look like a '70s, '80s like mobster look. Mm. I want. That's what I wanted to go for. And Anthony was like, "I got you." Oh yeah, that you nailed it. Yeah, Anthony Aiden, and he's one of those guys. He's like a MMA guy. So it's like you know he's selling these nice glasses, but then he's got the cauliflower ear, and he's got he's always got like bruises on his face. Yeah, I met him in New York. Very nice guy. He, he gave me a beautiful pair of sunglasses, like with like rose colored shades. Yeah, they're very nice. They're transition lenses, and yeah, the, mine too. And the thing is with these is this is you know I'm going for it right, and I've went I've went a little crazy, and I'm going for it. I'm just going for it. I've Said, you know what? Enough's enough. Enough's uh, enough. I said, I'm done. I'm 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 putting on glasses. I'm wearing a watch. Wow. And I'm changing. Kind of watch you got? Uh, AP Royal Oak. Ooh, that's a nice watch. I just came. I talked to Andrew Santino, and I said I want oh. a watch. And he sent me this link, and I said, but what about that price? He said, if you're going to do it, just fucking do it. Wow. And so he, and then I did it. And then when I sent him a picture of it on, he was like, dude, I was kidding. Like you. <laughs> <laughs> you, you you just jumped like 10 steps. And then he said, what is, you're like a different Chrissy with these glasses. And I know, I said to you before, I'm wearing them every day. I haven't taken the watch or the glasses off in about two weeks. And I feel good about it now. I feel centered with who I am. But okay. it does feel like, you know, a month from now, I'll look back and really regret this phase. Why? Because I think that, um, 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 I uh, listen, I'm having fun. Uh, right. right now, it's no regrets, but I'm just saying I know the way my mind works, and I think I'm probably going too hard, too fast. Like, I just, you know, the glasses, the watch, you go, I got a tour manager. I don't need any of this. I'm just going. Just and, keep going. What yeah. are you worried about? All right, then I'll do yeah, it then. Yeah, you need a coach. Yeah. You need someone in the corner go, keep going, Keep kid. going. Keep I, going. I ate a bag of chicken skin in look, your green room. Look at you. Look at the fucking look. I like the new look. Dude, because you know what this is, too. What? You, know, you know what happened is I started- It's a glow up. It, it's a glow up. That's what it is. Yeah, you're glowing up. It's a up. glow up. I'm yeah. like Elliot Page, glowed up. I think you look great. I I appreciate that. Got a fucking bracelet on too, dude. I'm not. I'm. I've completely went insane. Wow, that's not insane. You're making a little cash. You're doing well. And you know what? Netflix it, special's doing well. That's it. Everything's good. The kids yeah. tour and the kids making some we'll shekels. Go. The kids let's do, go. The kids doing Radio City Musical. The folks. kids doing Radio City Musical, Sep folks. September twenty second. I mean, that's see for a New Yorker. That's like that's the thing. Yeah, that's the place. You go to Radio City and and yeah. and it's and it's been amazing. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, and it's been amazing. Um, we're all, we sold forty five hundred tickets the first week, so that, that's amazing. It's like mind blowing for me. So um, that place is so. I uh, didn't Roy Jones Jr. have a fight there once. Probably I think when Roy Jones Jr. was just murking people, Roy Jones Jr. put on a fight. I'm pretty sure he did it there. Yes, yeah. he did it at some iconic venue in New York City, and Radio City Music Hall is one of the the, the peaks. It's when I started comedy, I've and still uh, yeah, it is there. It is yeah. Roy Jones Jr. produced a Radio City Spectacular. Who did he fight? <laughs> that was when. What's that? Oh, that's right. Even fighting one handed, that was yeah. Well, that was when Roy Jones Jr. was just the fucking king of the world. Yeah. People forgot. Like, he had to make a song called Y'all Must Have Forgot. <laughs> yeah. He did it literally. He yeah. made a song called Y'all Must Have Forgot because people forgot. Right. That he was the fucking man. There was a period of time, and this is the thing about fighters. You can't keep it up forever. It's impossible. And a lot of times we think about fighters as who they were at the end of their career. Right. When their bodies were, were failing and they had too much mileage on the tank. It's like on, on the, the odometer, rather. Roy Jones Jr., when he was in his peak in his prime, was as good as anybody that's ever laced on yeah, gloves. Yeah, I agree. Did you watch the Paul Fury fight yesterday? Yes, I did. Yeah, yeah. what'd you think? I thought it was a very good fight. Yeah. And it's, it confirmed two things that I've been saying for a long time. One, Jake Paul is 100% legit. People that think he's not legit, he's conning you. He's conning you with his antics. He's conning you with his, his uh, online persona yep. and the shit-talking and the marketing. But if you didn't have any of that... and 
me as an analyst. Like I, uh, that's right. one of my jobs. I, I analyze mixed martial arts. I'm not a boxing analyst, but I understand it. Right. When I watch him move around, it's a hundred percent legit. When I saw him knock out Tyron Woodley, I'm like, that is a fucking dangerous man. Yeah. A hundred percent. Yeah. He's. Uh, I was watching it illegally on. Uh, a Why phone. don't you pay for it, you I, fucking piece of shit? I didn't know. I. I. Because I. I ran out of money. I. Get bought, the- <laughs> I bought too many glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I, got, I spent it all on the watch. Uh, no, because I didn't even know. I, I love sports and stuff, but I'm not into. Not that I'm not into boxing. I just don't ever like watch it that much. And so the the guy that I'm with, he was like, "Oh, the fight's happening now." So he's like, "I got a site." And we started. We were. I was eating uh, ice cream yesterday in San Francisco in Little Italy, and we're. And I only eat sweets once a week now. So yesterday was my sweets day. Nice. And I was eating. Um, I ate. I got four scoops of gelato. So I was three and a half scoops in, and the blood sugar, the way it hit, you know, I was. Getting and woozy, but it's like what I've been waiting for. And I'm watching the fight happen. And then, you know, San Francisco, right outside, I see two homeless guys fighting, like oh. legitimately fighting. And it was kind of one of those things where I swear to God, even though amazing fighters that, that you know, Paul and Fury, the fight outside was so much more entertaining. I mean, I've never seen this. I saw a homeless man yesterday in front of, as the kid out. 